Welcome to Trivia Time, the channel that explores curious questions and interesting facts. In today's video, we ask you to imagine Saturn without its ring system. What would the planet look like if it didn't have these structures orbiting around it? It would become a gas planet without any identity, despite having an incredible atmosphere. However, one of the things that makes Saturn so enchanting to observe is its ice and rock structure that surrounds the planet. Astronomers have discovered something really frightening. These structures are disappearing. In today's video, we will understand how and why Saturn is losing its rings. When Saturn was first observed through a telescope by Galileo Galilei, he drew a kind of arc around Saturn. This arc, when viewed through his small telescope, was different from anything seen in space until then. Over time, equipment evolved, and we could see even more closely what these structures were, a cluster of ice and dust that created that strange disk surrounding the main planet. We still do not know exactly how these structures originated, nor if there is only one cause behind it. After all, the rings are far from being just one thing. Astronomers have discovered at least five main systems, which can be subdivided into smaller systems. In this way, it is possible to think that the entire system is unique and connected. But what really happens is that we have other rings out there that are fed over time by some of the planet's natural satellites. Some of them even modify the way these rings appear along their orbits. Cassini's action during its stay on Saturn helped to study each of these systems individually, which are divided by the letters D, C, B, A, and F. But if we join them all, we have an average width of 60,000 kilometers, from the innermost ring to the outermost. The general composition of these structures is no mystery, as measurements have shown that the particles present are almost 99% water ice and some traces of other minerals. In addition, these structures are extremely thin, and in the denser parts, the rings are a little over 1 km thick, but in other places, they reach a maximum of 100 meters. Using Saturn's rings, they are incredible and make this gas giant unique. Otherwise, it would be just a yellowish gas ball. The rings make all the difference. We have already recorded a lot about them from Earth, but when Cassini got close, it crossed this huge cluster of ice particles. The probe was then able to obtain one of the views that no telescope or sound could have ever achieved. I am sure that such images would take Galileo Galilei's breath away. But after observing the rings so much and even sending a space probe there, how do we know how they got to where they are today? Well, the truth is that no one knows exactly how they originated, but astronomers have some interesting hypotheses. The first idea that explains this, and even the most accepted, are questions related to the planet's tidal forces and an ancient natural satellite that existed there. In physics, the so-called Roche limit explains the minimum distance from the center of the planet that the other natural satellite can reach without becoming unstable and literally breaking apart due to tidal forces. Yes, it is possible to shatter a moon if it gets too close to its planet. So it is very likely that this has happened to some ancient moon of Saturn, where it got too close and the intense gravity of the planet stretched the celestial body, breaking it into tiny pieces that were grouped into the ring system we have today. 